Mathematics. Uh, welcome back uh, to school. Today we will take a new lesson in the primary six, first uh, unit, and first lesson, the meaning of ratio. Before studied this lesson, should be remember some uh, lessons we uh, studied in the primary five. Okay, revision. Remember, square. Everyone know the area of a square equals side length times itself, side times side. The side lengths, if we uh, find, want find the side lengths of a square equal square root of area. The perimeter of a square equal four times side lengths. The answer become by centimeters. Side lengths equal perimeter over four. Okay. Rectangle. Everyone know the area of rectangle equal side length time width. Everyone find the length of rectangle equal area over width. Width equal area over length. The perimeter of the rectangle equal two times length plus width. The answer equal dotted by centimeter. But we want find if we want find the length of rectangle equal perimeter over two. Minus weight. If we want to find weight of rectangle, equal parameter over 2 minus length. Okay. Equilateral triangle. Everyone know what is the meaning of equilateral triangle? Huh? Yalla. The meaning of equilateral triangle, yeah, Yusuf. The meaning of equilateral triangle, yeah, Muhammad, yeah, Maryam, yeah. Every uh, one in the primary six, what is the meaning of equilateral triangle? Each side are equal in length. Then, if you want to find the parameter of the equilateral triangle, equal side plus side plus side equals three times side length. Side length equal parameter over three. Okay, if you want to find the side length, equal parameter over three. The sum measure of interior. Angle of any triangle equal 180. Okay, the circle, the next lesson, the circle. Type the sum measure of the central angle accumulated at the center of a circle equals 360. The circumference of the circle equal pi times diameter or 2 times pi times r, where pi equal 3.14 and huh, yellow. Remember, Five. if we want find the diameter, diameter equal two time radius. Then, if we have a circumference, I want, and uh, then we want find a diameter, we divide the circumference of circle over pi. The radius equal half time the diameter. If we have a circumference and we want find the radius, then the radius equals circumference of the circle over 2 times pi. A pi, I say, remember, huh? a pi equals 3.14 or 22 over 7. A uh, pi equals circumference of circle over diameter, equal, or circumference of circle over 2 times pi. Fine. The, me the measuring units and their converting rules. The lenses, the lens units, kilometer to meter to decimeter to centimeter to millimeter. Kilometer to meter multiply by thousands. If you want to change from meter to kilometer, huh, divide by one thousand. Meter to decimeter time ten or divide ten time ten time ten. The area units. But the area units with square, yeah, and kilometer square, meter square, decimeter square, centimeter square, millimeter square. From kilometer square to meter square, multiply by one million. From meter square to decimeter square, multiply hundred. Multiply decimeter square to centimeter square by hundred. From centimeter square to uh, millimeter square, multiply by one hundred. If you want to go from smallest unit to, to greatest unit, should be divided. According uh, of its unit, the weight units from ton to kilogram multiply by one thousand. 
but from kilogram to ton, from smallest unit to greatest unit, divide by 1,000. Then from kilogram to gram, multiply by 1,000. From gram to kilogram, divide by 1,000. The last units, capacity. Liter هو هو decimeter cube. Milliliter, milliliter, liter or decimeter cube. From liter or from decimeter cube to milliliter, multiply by 1,000. From milliliter to liter, divide by 1,000. Okay. Now, we will take lesson one, the meaning of ratio. This is the first lesson in the unit one. What is the meaning of ratio? The ratio, the ratio is a method or to compare between two numbers or two quantities by division. The ratio between two numbers equal the first number over the second number. Note. The order of terms of the ratio is very important, where 2 over 5 not equal 5 over 2. We denote it, the ratios by these two points, 2, 2, 5, or 2 and 5. Not equal 5, 2, 2. Okay? Now, the ratio compare the sizes of parts or quantity to each order. How? Look at these figures. What do you observe? This is how many how many red ball? How many red ball? Nine. How many blue ball? Three. Okay. For every three red counters, there is one blue. Counters. This means that the ratio is 3 to 1. Yani each 3, 3 red bull, huh, we have 3 blue. Each 3 red, we have 3 blue. What is the ratio of red counters to blue counters? Is the ratio is the ratio is the same as the ratio of blue counters to the red counters? Okay, how? Red to blue, 9 to 3. Two, we denoted we denoted the ratios by two point two, meaning two red, huh? red two blue nine two three. We denoted by two point. The same the same if we say nine over three or nine divide three, then we simplify. We will uh, study. Uh, sorry, we will study and uh, how we can simplify the ratios. 9 to 3, yani 9 divide 3. Simplify the ratios. If we want simplify, divide the same number or two numbers by a divide by 3. Okay? 9 divide 3 equals 3. 3 divide 3 equals 1. We will study uh, this uh, simplify the next or uh, the end of this lesson. Okay? Now, in this example, what is the ratio of red counter to blue counters? Oh, this is red to blue. Type. Here we have how many, how many red counter? How many red counter? For every twelve red counter, there are eight blue counters. We have eight blue. If for every huh, twelve, we have eight, eight blue. Is the possible to simplify? This ratio. Okay. By finding the highest common factors of their numbers, we can see that for every three red counters, there are two blue counters. Okay. Red to blue, 12 to 8. Okay. Divide by 4, divide by 4, 12 divided by 4 equals 3, 8 divided by 4 equals 2, then huh, the ratios between them 2, 3, 2, 2. Huh, ratio 3, 2, 2. Type. Simplifying the ratio. The ratio can be simplified like fractions by dividing each part huh, by highest common factor. For example, 21 to 35. 21 to 35. Each number, the highest common factor is 7. 
Oh, simplified like fractions by dividing each part by highest common factors. You a divide 21 divide 7 equals 3. 35 divided by 7 also equals 5. Type another example. 64, 2, 2, 16. 64 divided by 16. Huh? 16 divided by 16. 64 divided by 16 equal 4. 16 divided by 16 uh, equal 1. Someone asked me, we can simplify two numbers by 4? Yes. But after we finish, simplifying should be huh, changed into simplest form. Okay? Uh, uh, someone maybe uh, simplify this uh, fractions or this uh, uh, ratio divide by 2. But after we finish, complete simplify. Okay? Type. For the three part ratio, all three parts must be divided by same numbers. Sometimes we have three part of ratios, 8 to 24 to 10. If we want to simplify this ratio, we can simplify huh, by the same method. By the same method. 8, 24, 10, the highest common factor is 2. Then 8 divided by 2 equals 4, 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. If 4 with 12 with 5, huh? خلاص, we cannot, we, we don't have the highest common factor between them. This is the end of uh, example. In one of the class of the first grade primary, the number bo of boys is 15 pupils. And the number of girls is 20 pupils. Then calculate the ratio between the number of boys and the number of girls. B. The ratio between the number of girls and the number of all people in the class. C. The ratio between the number of boys and the number of all people in the class. Take care here in the questions if uh, ask you uh, ratio between خلاص يبقى between هنا meaning a two dotted اللي هي two between sorry نستورت بقى نستورت الانسر ها بعد between sorry the ratios between the number of boys and and the number of girls هنا عرفنا من between هنا between what and what ها between boy and the number of girls بن بن عند ال and هنا بنحط ال two dotted يبقى between related to a ratios between what boy and girls يبقى we write uh, a ratios between a boy two girls b the ratios between between what girls and all people in the class girls and يعني two dotted uh, between a, all people of the class the ratios between the number of boys and the number of people in the class but how many boys, how many girls, and how many number of the class from the questions? خلاص. In the number of boys, 15. The number of girls, 20. طب the number of people of the class, what? 15 plus 20. 15 plus 20 equal what? 35. Now, the first. The first one. The ratio is between number of boys and the number of girls. Type number of boys can okay 15 to the number of girls 20 should be simplified. Huh? Divide by what? By 5. The highest common factor is 5. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. The second question. The ratio is between between what? Girl and all people in the class. Girl, how many numbers of girls? 20. The number of the uh, people 35. Then the highest common factor is 5 divided by 5 divided by 5 equals 4 to 7. The last question is the ratio between the number of boys and the number of all people in the class. The number of boys 15, the number of all people in the class 35. Divide by simplify, divide by 5 equals 15 divided by 5 equals 3, 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Now, uh, thank you for good listening, Primary 5. If you can understand this lessons, okay, but if you can't understand, maybe can, you can remember uh, and uh, repeat uh, study and uh, repeat, show the video.
Thank you for good listening.